There are a number of reasons that Singularity University uh, exists and uh, a variety of reasons why students and faculty have come to be part of it. Uh, the overall theme is rapidly accelerating <coughs> technologies, things that are changing fast and are going to change ever faster as technology builds on technology. The other thing is a wide diversity of fields, so 10 tracks all the way from uh, space and physical sciences where I'm a co-chair, uh, to medicine, to nanotechnology, to policy law, ethics, to future studies. So uh, it's a diverse group and really our point is to bring students on board and um, give them some background in this variety of fields so that when they start to approach the question of what's happening five or ten years uh, down the line, they do it from a nuanced point of view. Uh, we take it beyond the cocktail party conversation of what is nanotechnology going to be and we fill in uh, the, the current state and the history of the field and projections from people who are true experts who are actually right in the middle of working on developing uh, the things that are going to be uh, future technology in those areas. Beyond that, uh, we challenge the students to take the knowledge that they've uh, been given and develop that into their own twist, into their own presentation, into their own project to, to take some aspects of uh, rapidly changing technology and apply them in a way that uh, will affect a billion people in 10 years. A phenomenally challenging uh, exercise but a, uh, and, an, and an ambitious one. But uh, the people who are here are people who want to change the world. And uh, that is one way to change. In the space and physical sciences track, I think uh, to pick one example, commercial space flight is about to explode. Uh, we are just at the threshold of starting to be able to, uh, to take a large number of people into space by simply paying the price of a ticket. Current price is about $200,000. Uh, how much interest is there in that? Well, the first three years the seats are already sold out and they haven't flown yet. So there's a lot of interest in that. Um, and this is the epitome of an exponentially changing technology. Uh, in five to ten years, it's going to become common to go to space. You're going to be able to vacation in space. You're going to be able to honeymoon in space. We're going to have hospitals in space. Imagine the possibilities for someone with a disability, say a spinal cord injury, a stroke, uh, some kind of mobility impairment, to suddenly be free, uh, to have 100% mobility, to be able to glide through the air like Superman. If you have uh, cardiac issues that, that uh, limit your ability to, to get from A to B on Earth, uh, if you have um, coordination or, or motor control issues, these things disappear in space. The opportunity to be able to go and live in a place where you are no longer dependent on other people to get you from one place to another, where you can take care of uh, all your personal needs by yourself, where you can develop, you can bring back the independence uh, and the privacy that you had uh, before uh, your disability occurred. These are tremendous opportunities. I think that, that we're going to see one-way tickets to space. I think there's going to be people that will go and choose never to come back because of the freedom, the, the sense of magic that uh, you can fly. You can get to wherever you want to be. I've flown on the space shuttle three times. I've spent over a month uh, total in space. And the sense of being touched by a magic power is really what it feels like. You are free to fly like Superman. A dream we've all had since we were kids becomes a reality. And it's no longer going to be a reality for a few people that are fortunate enough to be selected by governments to go fly. We've already seen a handful of folks be able to pay an enormous sum of money, 20, 30 million dollars, to spend a week in that environment. We're about to see uh, a population explosion in space. We're about to see opportunities present themselves through the commercial space industry that will bring an exponentially increasing number of people to that environment. And it's going to be fabulous, and it's going to be world changing. I think the success of this summer with a limited number of students is going to uh, propel us forward in a, in a big way. Um, next year, we'll probably have three times as many students as we have this year. And one thing that's going to determine a lot about our future is the impact of the project that the students do this summer. Um, it's always a concern when you do something new, uh, how it's going to work out, uh, what kind of people are really going to be involved, and, and how sophisticated is their approach going to be. I am relieved and excited to say that having met these people, there's no question in my mind that uh, the project that they will produce will 
will astound us all. And with that will come the success in the future of the university. Thank you very much. My pleasure.